a special note, I would like to request Mr. Benel Joseph, President Isat, to kindly come onto the stage. He is 25 years old Limca book record holder and renowned white hat hacker with definitive experience in the field of computer security in India. Listed among the top 10 ethical hackers in India by Microsoft Social Forum and Silicon India Magazine. At present, he is the Chief Executive Officer for the Art of Hacking International IT Security Project, an initiative in support with Government of India, as well as acting as the board member of ISA India. Put your hands together, let's welcome Mr. Joseph onto the stage for this special note. A very, very warm welcome to you. Good morning. Oh, so good morning, friends, and thank you so much uh, for having me here today. And uh, I'm happy to be here today and interact with you all. So uh, before I begin, uh, let me quickly ask you a couple of questions. Like how many of you are from information security? All right, and how many of you are from the senior management level? All right, one last question before I begin. So how many of you can live a couple of days without your smartphones? Obviously not more, because smartphones are uh, becoming a part of our life. Um, so let's go back in time, around 15 years, where we didn't have WhatsApp, Facebook, and our favorite Candy Crush. Let's imagine that you called me to deliver this talk 15 years back. So I'll be a little uh, stressed to be here because I'm from another state. I'm not familiar with places here. here. Language might be a problem. So in that scenario, if I have to be here, I have to do a little bit of uh, research, background research on this venue, or how to reach here, how to come here, how to take a cab, how to uh, talk in the direction how, how I have to, how I can be here. It's complicated. It's a couple of two or three hours to be here, to reach here. But this is a scenario has been changed now. Now if all I wanted to get into a cab, turn on the Google Maps, navigate into to my direction, all I'm here. So this is amazing how technology changes. We are holding a magical device in our hand, which is capable to do wonderful things. We now live in a magical times. And when we talk about technology, technology will do crazy things in the future. For example, we'll soon have the smart uh, driverless cars. Bitcoin will change the world economy. Robots will practically do all of our work. There will be drones taking our package from one place to another. Artificial intelligence will replace the doctors. We are living in the most exciting times ever. So 15 years ago, we still use the or pa what paper map, uh, maps to navigate. And the world has changed so much in these 15 years. And imagine what will happen in the next 15 years. So one of the most interesting thing happen now is IoT, Internet of Things. The IoT where we make things smart. We take shoes and make smart shoes. We take chairs and make smart chairs. We take tables and make smart tables. IoT allows us to do amazing things. So after so many years of innovation and investing in technology, soon we might have smart shoes tells the door, which tells the door to open. The door tells the coffee machine to get a cup of coffee. So that means things will talk to things to make our life easier. But how the IoT is going to affect the humanity? IoT is bringing the good side of the technology, not just the good side of the technology, also the bad side of the technology. There is a basic rule for technology. This rule is the security, uh, engine of the security. And the rule says change always equals 
new opportunities plus new threats. Change always br bring problems. We're gonna take millions of devices and connect it to the internet. What does that mean? Three things. Many new things to attack, many new ways to attack, and many new reasons to attack. So the IoT is going to be a hacking party. By 2025, we expect to have over 80 billion devices connected to our internet. And these devices might not be secured, because the companies who create these devices is least bothered about the security side. We have seen hackers succeeding in hacking into the IP devices, IP cameras. And by hacking into those devices, they are succeeded in taking down the website like Netflix or Twitter. Those smart devices are not more smart and not secure anymore. Now I wanted to talk about the three issues, three pr problems that iOS, IoT is going to show up in the coming years. The problem number one is privacy. We already have a feel that our privacy is compromised. Some people think that internet is free, Facebook is free, Google is free. The fact is that we are not paying money doesn't mean that it is free. We are praying with our privacy. We spend a lot of, we spend a lot of privacy to enjoy these free services from these vendors. So I'm not talking in a negative way, but let's see the companies like Facebook they are big machines, and they know how to transform the privacy into profit. Google, Apple, IoT is going to love these companies. We are moving to a world where everything is off by default and on by default. So again, let's talk about sensors. These are the things which makes IoT amazing. They collect information, collect, they collect your heartbeats, they collect your footprints, they collect all your information, what you eat, what you drink. So nothing remains personal. Everything is going to be open. So now let's talk about the problems number two. The problem number two starts with Amazon Echo. So how many of you are using this device, Amazon Echo? Please raise your hands. All right, so Amazon Echo is a device running Alexa. Alexa is again the digital helper of Amazon Echo. You have these three in, Google, in iPhone, right? So this works uh, with the voice around. Ask whatever you want to Alexa. Alexa will get it done for you. If you want to make purchase something in Amazon, Alexa will do it for you. If you want to close your door, open your door, Alexa will do it for you. So Alexa, uh, this is an amazing device which can be connected to anything. And for example, let's uh, uh, say Alexa can be accessed from anywhere. Um, for instance, if an office is closed, and if one can give a command outside the office, suppose if the office is closed and one can give a command from the office, I mean outside the office, and ask, ask or tell Amazon Echo, Alexa, please open the door. Alexa will be opening and the door will be open. So Alexa doesn't care about who is interacting or who is giving them the instruction, whether it's the real owner or whether it's a stranger is giving the instruction. Imagine if a thief does this. You might be thinking there are, the voice identification might be a solution for this. But there are even devices which can mimic the real voice of a real person. So this is like having a computer inside the office and you having the wireless keyboard with you, so you can control anything. So IoT is hard to control. So problem number three, IoT is not just one thing. It is a family of many things, which includes smart cities, smart houses, uh, houses, driverless cars, smart machinery, robots, etc. So together they create IoT. 
So let's talk about driverless cars. Let's see how they, they look for hackers. A scenario like suppose if you're sleeping in a car and you turn on your GPS, what happens if some a hacker hacking into your GPS system and changing your destination? All of a sudden, after some time when you wake up, you see that you've been in a dark room where you have hackers around and that, that's where you realize you are kidnapped. They'll be asking money to get out of there. So that is again another new version form of ransomware. Let me tell you another example. There is a security researcher from Israel. He was in the studio, TV studio, discussing about the IoT missions and talking about the impact of IoT uh, Alexa, I mean Amazon Echo. And he used this couple of words, IoT, uh, Amazon Echo, Alexa. And as soon as he entered the session, he had received multiple calls. And they are the owners who use this Amazon Echo. And they were telling him, as soon as you told the word Alexa, all the Alexa mission, all the devices in our house got activated. So somebody can even control the Alexa mission being in sitting in a studio room. So he, the next thing, what he has shared in his blog, he was just thinking, wondering how I can misuse or abuse Alexa mission uh, device remotely. So that means, suppose similarly, hackers can, ha can hack into any smart devices. It's not just the case of Amazon Echo. They can hack into smart TVs, smart refrigerators, smart oven, anything in the planet. So where do we go from here? This is important to remember that this is not a competition, but a bot. Where we all, all are in, uh, where we all in together, and we have to work together. Trust is something we have to create together. We have to remember the future is going to be very, very dangerous. Things are getting worse. It is hard to, it is getting harder and harder to secure and it is getting easier and easier to hack. So technology is here to bring the world for better. We have to work together to make sure that the future is secure and brighter. So thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you.